Hey everybody, Tim Tialdo here with Jack Tony. A wrap-up of the 2017 St. Louis IFBB Pro and NPC Midwest Championships. Let's talk about our pros first. Of course, figure we had 25 girls. Wendy Fortino takes it. Talk about that. Um, great turnout, obviously. I thought everybody thought after prejudging that Nadia Wyatt was going to pull it off. She, yeah. was, she was obviously the most conditioned, possibly the most muscular uh, figure girl out there. Uh, and Wendy Fortina had, I, I don't want to say a similar look, but um, obviously the judges thought she was more balanced. Mm -hmm. um, I, I thought it was really close uh, in certain areas. In other areas, I thought Wendy probably was a little bit more polished than Nadia at this point in her career. And obviously the judges thought so, and she got the win in St. Louis. And I thought Nadia came out tonight looking a lot better than she did last night in prejudging. She did. She she was a little drawn in, a little dry, a little bit too hard uh, yesterday evening. She looked way better tonight. Uh, but, you know, Wendy didn't look any worse. I, I don't think she um, fell off her game from Friday night, and I thought she still probably had the better package of the two. Yeah. Then we had our 12 uh, pro women's physique competitors from all over the world, and uh, Candria J. Adams walks away with it. That was a really close top top three, really. Yeah, I didn't see that. You know, I was running around with my head cut off this week, and I, I, I must have missed her a little bit. I thought Brooke Walker was going to... Hands down, tough. yeah, win the show, uh, and obviously I did not see the young lady that won the show, uh, so I can't I can't comment to it. But uh, Brooke looked great, and obviously this young lady that won the show had to look really good. Yeah. So let's talk about the numbers. A ton of people came out tonight. I mean, we had thousands here, plus uh, you know the number of competitors. I mean, just talk about you, how you feel about that as the promoter. Um, St. St. Louis, excuse me, I'm a little tired. St. Louis <laughs> never lets us down. It's amazing, you know. We spoke to the crowd tonight uh, from the heart, and, it, and it's so true that, you know, it was 10 years to the month that we had our first show in St. Louis, and it was just a novice show, and we had, you know, 40, 30 people in it, the Robert Orthiums, and I was so disappointed, Tim. Um, I sat down with my sponsors because I really thought I had put a lot into it, um, and the turnout was horrible. The turnout was horrible as far as athletes as well as people coming to watch the athletes. And it's because, you know, bodybuilding had been removed from the area for so long. There, there wasn't, you know, no one wanted to see it. There, there, there wasn't anything to see in bodybuilding. To see that, to see where we're at today with close to uh, 500 and something crossover NPC athletes, uh, and still not our biggest show to date. Our biggest show to date was 2015, but to go from 40 or 50 to close to 600 crossover in, in 2015 to about 500 this weekend, over 300 hard is amazing. And what's even more amazing than that is to see the people that come out and support the athletes and support, at least I hope they're supporting Ann and I and supporting the sponsors because we're, we're drawing about 10 people per athlete. And that doesn't happen in our sport on average as a promoter, you kind of know what your numbers are going to be, you know, for prejudging. It's about two per competitor. For finals, it's about five per competitor. In St. Louis, we do ten for finals. And we had an early start time of 5 p.m., and by 5 p.m., we had three-quarters of our uh, venue filled up with 2,000 chairs, and then there was another 300 people in the, in the sponsor area, and by 6.30, it was a friggin' madhouse, and by the time... Uh, our four guest poses, which obviously we're going to talk about, uh, Tricky Jackson and Branch Warren and Flex Lewis and Kevin Jordan hit the stage and went out in the crowd. It, it was mayhem. Yeah. And um, every promoter gets this. Every promoter hears, oh, it was a great show. Thank you for having me. And I'm, and I'm so glad that we still get that. Yeah. Um, but we get so much of it here because we do put on a great show. And I'm proud of that. You know, if I ever walk away from this sport, which I don't plan on doing anytime soon, I know, and Ann knows, and we've talked about this recently, that we've, we've put a dent in the Midwest. And, you know, we're very humbled about that. You know, we had some great opportunities with sponsors that helped us along the way. But it's because of those sponsors, our hard work, I feel overwhelmingly, and that's not even a correct English word, but um, <laughs> proud of that. You know, I and, and I haven't slept since Thursday, by the way. But I, I feel very proud of that, that we can walk into a place like this and see the turnout and go back to 10 years ago where we started 
and it just makes it that much more special. Well, real quick, before we wrap up, you were talking about the guest posers. Now, I remember when you started, one of the big things was you talked about is you didn't get to see those, you know, big professional bodybuilders in the Midwest anymore. It seems like yeah. people were missing that, you know, they hadn't seen it in a while, and here you bring Mr. Olympia 212 tonight, Branch Warren, Tricky Jackson, Kevin Jordan. I mean, talk about what it's like to be able to, to give that to people. Yeah, uh, great point. Uh, and you know what? Um, I, I'm developing some good relationships with some of the top pros in the world, and, and you know, nothing I'm doing that's overly special, but I treat them with respect. They know what we're trying to do in the Midwest. Uh, they know we put on a good product, and they want to be part of that. They want to see the sport grow, too, in areas that it's not, you know, very big. Uh, people like Phil Heath and Flex, and obviously Branch has done so many of my shows. They're a key component in the growth aspect of our sport. And without those people, it doesn't happen. Now, with that said and done, I, we, we've got to point out all the people that are turning pro out of this area now. And, and I made mention of it today on when I spoke to the crowd that this show is turning more people pro than any other show in the Midwest right now. I can go from Kevin Ford to Kevin Jordan to Angela Coleman to Ann to Tony, on and on and on. And not just pros, but really good pros. Nadia. Not Nadia, I'm sorry, Nadia, Charmaine Williams, you know, some other people. This area is putting out great talent. We always knew, knew it had talent in this area. We just needed to provide resources mm -hmm. for them to um, let everybody else see it. And uh, I, think, I think the whole country is seeing it. Yeah. So an incredibly successful night here in St. Louis. It is uh, after midnight. We are tired. We're ready to go to bed. But thanks for tuning in. And remember, IFBB Pro Figure winner was Wendy Fortino, and our women's physique pro was Candria J. Adams. So for Jack to Tony, Tim Tialdo, we are out here in St. Louis. <laughs>